Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley and I'm so happy to have you here with me today. Today is an exciting video because I am going to be doing how I made my business plan. And it goes a little something like Having a business plan before you create a business is really important not just to like show anybody but just so that you know exactly what you have to do for your business just for yourself so like for example i created mine just for myself i didn't create it for anybody to like present it or show to anybody i just made it so that i knew exactly what i needed to get just for myself because going into just like buying things just doesn't really make sense like i wanted to make sure i knew what facials I want to do, what waxing I want to do, and what products I plan on doing for those facials. So I'm going to be laying out my whole entire business plan, how I created it, how I came up with things, kind of like what I asked myself before I even started my business. So I have it right here on my phone and I'm just going to be reading it because it's easier to do it on my phone than on a computer. Um, so let me go to my drive. So I made this in March of 2019. Here is my business plan. And I said on my business plan, I want to create a spa with waxing facials and wedding makeup. So I kind of just said exactly what I want my spa to be um, without like going into too much detail because it's just for me. So like I already know. Um, so I said my goal is to be a smidge cheaper than like the surrounding salons because I could have the ability to be cheaper because I don't have as much overhead as some of these like bigger salons do. So I want to be, I'll do this guy. I want to be cheaper than the average salon, but I also want to have the same quality. So basically here's what I needed to do. I asked myself, what do I actually need to do to become successful? Like what do I need to do to actually produce this business. So I wrote down bullet points, around eight bullet points as to what I would literally need to do. I need to find a salon suite that I could afford. I need to figure out what products I would enjoy using and what I believe in. I have to decide what services I will be doing. So I decided I'm gonna do facials and waxing and makeup. I need to figure out how to properly market since I don't have any clients. Since I started my business without anybody, I was like, okay, I need to figure out how I'm actually going to start my business and how I'm gonna market myself. Next, I need to find out how I can even afford any of this. Like I need to find out my finances, such as like possibly getting a loan. Um, I need to learn how to build a business and social media for the business because I'm not paying someone to do that. So I was like, I need to figure out how to freaking make a website because I have no idea how to do that. But again, I found Wix and that's how I created my business. And that's how I created my website, I mean. I need to make sure I could afford furniture and everything I need for the salon room. And at last, I need to get insurance because I need to work on people's faces. So, what I did was then I, this actually took more time. So like, I wrote that part first and I was like, okay, this is going to be my business plan. Um, that's what I need to figure out before I move forward with anything. So then I started slowly within the month of March addressing some of these concerns. So like what I did was I found a salon suite in downtown Glen Ellen that was $750 a month. I did, um, I'll put it right here and I'll link it down below, um, how much I actually spent to start my business. So uh, I already did a video that explains basically everything in here and like it explains more in detail about how much I actually spent on some of these things I'm going to say. But for one... I have my salon suite for $7.50 a month and I had to research what facials I actually wanted to do and what products I wanted to do. So I wrote those down below. I will go over those in a second because I did have to come up with multiple pages of like, okay, this is what facial I'm going to do, this is how much I'm going to charge, and these are the products that I'm going to do. So I decided I'm going to do image and skin script. Those are the products I decided. And then for three... For addressing number three which was what services will I be doing that goes up with number two I wrote it all down so I'm gonna go over that um, number four was how am I going to market and I said I'm gonna try Facebook and Instagram ads so these are things I'm doing like throughout the month so I'm like okay 
I wrote Facebook ads and Instagram, so I'm like, okay, this is how I'm gonna do it. Then I took a break, I went back to it, and so number five was like, I went to the bank today and I got approved for a $5,000 loan. So I was like, okay, perfect. Now I have money to start buying some of these products, like my image and my skin skincare products. So I got approved for a $5,000 loan, and in my video, like I said, I break down my cost of everything. And then number six was how am I going to build a website? I decided that I was going to use Wix. So these are just things that I write down so that I know for myself like what exactly I'm going to do. Um, I knew Wix was going to be a couple hundred up front, but I got to make it completely myself. And then seven was I was my furniture. So I decided I was going to use stuff on Amazon and Home Goods and this other company, Universal Companies, that are for estheticians. And then for makeup, I'm currently working with this brand, House of Pukla, that I do my wedding makeup with, and I do some of my own. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. And then see now, okay, when you when I scroll to the bottom, products for facials that I'm gonna need, and this is waxing too. So then you have to think, okay, what? business expenses am I actually going to have like this is the part in your business plan where you write everything that you actually need to get and just kind of like vaguely pricing of things so like I knew I needed lotion and oil and SPF moisturizer I don't really know why I put that there but whatever um masks and then gloves bed paper hard wax soft wax sticks so basically I just put everything that I know for a fact I'm gonna need like bowls and muslin rolls and then here's my facials so let's say you were starting like a grocery store or whatever you would need to put what you want to sell and what you need to sell those things it's so like i put signature facial and these are what i'm gonna need to create my signature facial so i'm like okay i need to write that down so that i know and then acne facial anti-aging and chemical peels and then here I have my explanation of facials and the pricing of those facials. Now this is important to add in a business plan because you need to um, know how much you're going to actually charge for things and what makes sense. So like that's why it's important to put in your business plan as well because then you can scroll up and say okay well it cost me this much, this much, and this much. Um, I can get about 10 to 20 facials out of these products so then i know i should charge about this much to make a good return so that's how i decided the pricing for everything plus i looked around the area to see how much people charge for things and since i was brand new i obviously did make it a little lower so that people were inclined to come to me um but yeah so you'll see here all my chemical peels and my facials or whatever and then I wrote what each one's going to be for for acne prone blah 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 so people know and then I got my waxing pricing and I did the same thing that I did for the facials as I did for the waxing I made sure I looked around and I changed these so frequently like I kept like asking people what would you pay what would you pay every day I would just go in and I would like change this and make sure that it made sense um, but yeah so basically this is everything that is super important to add in a business plan so just to recap um, you need to make sure you have what you want to do up top like here's my business plan yeah like I said just to recap come up with some bullet points of what you're going to need to do, address them, figure out the price you'll need and how much you'll need to spend. Those are like your key points. But yeah, that's why having a business plan is super important and make sure that you make one before you start a business just for yourself and just keeping yourself accountable. If you guys liked this video, then don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.